Let's talk about average velocity. If I tell you that at 5 o'clock I left home, at 6 p.m. I'm 60 miles away from home, how fast am I going at 5.30? How fast? Huh? 180 miles an hour. Except for those of you that have seen my car, you said, no, Greg, you weren't going 180 miles an hour. But clearly, I could be stopped at a, at a stoplight. I could be parked someplace eating donuts, which seems more likely. Okay? Um, all we know is that in 60 minutes, I was able to cover 60 miles. What we know is that my average velocity during that hour was 60 miles an hour. Okay? Now, the operational definition for average velocity looks like the general definition for velocity. But with the caveat that delta t can be large, large enough that you can speed up, slow down, stop for a stop sign. Okay? It's just the total distance divided by the total time. This is the kind of velocity you want to use when you're trying to figure out how long it's going to take to Denver, uh, to get to Denver. You don't want your fastest speed or your slowest speed. You want your average speed. Okay? Now, I like to think of average velocity in terms of this Aesop's fable. You remember the story where the, the turtle and the, and the bunny rabbit are having a race. The bunny rabbit's so much faster, gets way out in the lead, decides to take a nap. Uh, when the bunny wakes up, she sees that the turtle's just about to cross the finish line. So she speeds across, and they have a photo finish. What that means is that the average velocity of the bunny rabbit is the same as the uniform velocity of the tortoise. They both start and finish the race at the same time. They both cover the same displacement in the same amount of time. Now, I like this interpretation because at our house we have two bunny rabbits, we have three box turtles, we have five frogs, we have two dogs, we have a million fish. It's a zoo. It's just a zoo. Okay. Now, question. If the bunny rabbit travels at a uniform 10 miles an hour for the first hour, and a uniform 4 miles an hour for the last two hours, what was the bunny rabbit's average velocity? Now, folks, in tutorial, you're going to find that we often use student Discussions. There'll be student one arguing with student two. And over the course of the semester, you're going to find out that, well, student one isn't right very often. Okay, student one is, well, student one. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to play the part of student one right now. Okay? Well, 10 and 4, if I take the average of 10 and 4, that's 10 plus 4 is 14, divided by 2, 7. The average velocity would be seven miles per hour. Why is that not only wrong, but sick and wrong? Because you didn't take into account the amount of time. Right. The, the bunny rabbit wasn't traveling those two different speeds for the same amount of time. And so what we have to use is the operational definition. The average velocity is going to be the change in position if you're just going to the right or to the left, we use delta x. If you're just going up or down, we use delta 1. Okay? It's the total displacement divided by the total, uh, total time. Now, the total displacement, uh, the bunny rabbit covers 10 miles in the first hour and 4 miles in the second hour plus 4 miles in the third hour and does that in three hours. So that's going to be 18 miles in three hours, or six miles per hour. Okay, check that your neighbor's on the bus with that. It's not rocket science. We're going to do that in a month.